Thanks for joining me today at Slot Valley Racing. For those who don't know, my name is Dan. From release seven, we will be looking at the Ron Caps. It is the Dodge Charger RT funny car with team tractor and trailer. So today we'll be having a closer look. We'll be uh, checking out both the car and the trailer. We'll be getting into it and we'll be putting them on the track. All this and more today on, oh yeah. And we're also gonna talk a little bit about the brand new drag strip I'm installing. Are you ready? Cause here we go. So before we get into it, let's have a look at the packaging. Auto World's done a pretty good job of making this package look very desirable. This car and trailer is uh, absolutely fantastic. They also have a car and trailer in the Richard Petty. So this car and trailer, this is number two in release seven. And number one would have been the Richard Petty car and uh, hauler. Have a look at the top. And down there you can see where it is. And of course it's number two in release seven. Let's have a look at the back. All right, so here we are at the back. Of course, it's part of the Racing Rigs series. Gives a little bit of right up there about uh, four gear extraction. And here's where it's talking about the other cars. Uh, there's one other uh, setup kind of like this with the car and the trailer. And it's the Richard Petty, the 1971 Roadrunner. It also comes with the team tractor and race trailer, just like the uh, Ron Caps 2013 Dodge Charger RT funny car. Absolutely fantastic, great looking cars. All right, so here, of course, we're looking at the bottom of the four gear. This talks a little bit about their John Force racing uh, drag strip. Of course, if you're running four gears, you need the four gear parts kit. And Here's the back side of the trailer. All right, guys, let's get into this. All right, so because of how big the box is, um, I wanted to make sure that uh, nothing fell out or uh, I dropped a trailer out of the package or something of that sort. So got it to this point. And here we go. Let's have a look. Comes with extra guide pins. Very cool. Nice touch. All right. Nice looking set, wow. All right, so here we are taking a look at the car. And of course, this is the Dodge Charger RT funny car. It's the Napa sponsored Ron Caps funny car. The decal on this car is spot on. This is exactly what the car looked like in 2013. This is the livery from that season. The decals are really tight. Uh, they're not loose. The coloring on the car is really bright and vibrant. The car looks really good. All right, let's take a look at the front. All right, so here we are taking a look at the back and they've done a good job with the parachutes. I like the wheelie bar, that's kind of a good touch. And you can see here uh, quickly, you can see some of the decal, really nice. They've done a good job with this one. All right, 
So here we are taking a look at this four gear chassis. Now, a four gear chassis is not anything spectacular, of course, but I just wanted to make mention of uh, how old this set is. Um, you can see the strap is kind of going that, uh, yeah, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Like a pinkish, kind of orangey color. Um, you can see that also on the winding here on the armature. I just wanted to point that out. So um, let's have a look at the bottom, I guess, while we're here. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of a close up of the car shell. It's done a really good job. It's worth another look. A lot of decal, a lot of small decal, really good attention to detail. Let's see what the other side looks like. Yeah, see, look at that. All right, so let's have a look at this absolutely fantastic looking Peterbilt truck. All right, so taking a closer look, you can see once again, the decal is absolutely spot on on the side. They've done a really good job again of making this look exactly like the race hauler. Now, when you look at the cab, the cab of course is the Peterbilt, I believe it's the 357. And uh, you know, it's pretty much standard, um, but. The decal on the door looks kind of nice. And above on the uh, the wind deflector up top there looks pretty cool. Nice attention to detail. Very nice. Let's have a look at the front. Okay, so at the front, of course, we're going to have a lit up front end here. Uh, this is obviously uh, a flamethrower chassis. Uh, the truck does have a spot for the bulb. I'm assuming it's in there. I'm not going to pull it apart. We'll just have to have to go we'll t we'll go with it and see what happens <laughs> all right so it looks good the detail is nice the truck is clean it looks really shiny it's uh it's a nice looking addition to anyone's track moving to the back there is a version of the semis uh the trailers with doors that open in the back this is not that version all right so that covers the truck the trailer and this absolutely fantastic looking funny car all right, so that covers these vehicles out of the package. Darn, that funny car, Ron Caps Napa version is absolutely fantastic. They've done a really good job. I really like the effort they put into the four gear line. I'm not exactly sure why it is that it works out like that, but I'm Batman. The four gear is an all right chassis. Uh, it's really nothing special, uh, although it does run. And of course, the I don't know what's going on, but when you get a top fuel dragster or a funny car dragster, the decal on them is absolutely fantastic. It's so it's so striking looking. It looks exactly like the real car. So enough of my babbling. Let's at least see if these cars are going to run. Let's go to the track. And I'll also explain a little bit as to what's happening with my drag strip. All right, so before we get started with uh having a look at the uh truck here uh it at least runs we'll say that much for sure uh the buggers uh they didn't put a flamethrower chassis in it uh which is kind of lame considering it's in a flamethrower chassis truck um yeah and uh it appears those uh those pins weren't extra they were the ones that they want you to put on holy cow boy next thing we'll have to make our own and then they'll charge us full price for them all right so here's what it looks like with the trailer on it so it does run pretty good i'm not putting any uh, effort into it though because it's not going to be driven around my track so let's have a look we'll see what we got here Whoa, that's actually pretty quick. Let's see, let's bring it around. Oh, guess not. Looks like Ron Caps decided to go camping instead of drag racing. All right, so essentially here's what I'm gonna do. I've painted this uh, piece of uh, uh, particle board and I'm just gonna run it up the front of my track here and off the back end. I don't. Uh, walk back there anyways so it'll go past it'll be 16 feet 
and a runoff and it'll be mounted right at the front of my super speedway and I'll be able to use the hills and stuff to have like uh, stands and people watching the drag racing from the stands kind of thing and I'll be building some stands for it as well and I do have some fuller stuff or fowler so that's where it'll be those of you who've been wondering and of course this is where the timed system will go and I'll still be making drag strip videos off my other drag strip so I want to thank you all for watching I want to thank all my members thanks guys I absolutely appreciate it I want to say thank you for watching this video and I hope you'll watch some more to all my subscribers thanks guys I absolutely appreciate it Make sure you check me out this Monday for Monday Night Live, where I'm going live with the community. I know it's been a couple weeks, but I think it's time. I want to thank you all for watching. And don't forget, get your heart racing. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. You want to go do flat cars in the garage? Yep.